For those of you who are first, first tuning into my review, I am Whitey, and I am a reviewer, and I have reviewed countless Spider-Man games. I made countless top five games. Everybody who has been watching my videos knows I am a Spider-Man fan. So what the fuck happened to this game? What the hell? How, wait, let's let's calm down. Let's reverse back. Spider-Man, oh, sorry, Amazing Spider-Man 2, the video game, starts off with Peter Parker getting into basically a bunch of shit. Ben Parker's killer once again, even though it was, you know, noted in the movie that he is actually moving on from that, but let's get it back into catching Ben's killer, then the Carnage killer comes in and kills your the guy, and then you gotta go and chase him, but really you don't know who he is, and then the Kingpin shows up, and then your best friend shows up, but your best friend turns into a Green Goblin, I don't know where the fuck Electro came in from, and it's just a, a cluster, oh, it's a story. It's a story, I'll get to it later. And the gameplay resembles a lot of Amazing Spider-Man 1, which you would think is pretty good because I enjoyed Spider-Man 1 for what it was. But, it doesn't do anything else new, at, basically at all. So let's get right into the review. Is Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2 worth it? I mean, just watch my review. Alright, so let's talk about the good, and this is a very short list. Number one, costumes. There's tons of them. They all look pretty cool. I actually enjoy going around in Miles' costume. I really like the Amazing Spider-Man 1's costume. I like the Amazing Spider-Man 2. And there's plenty of other ones like 2099 and, of course, the Vigilante costume from the Amazing Spider-Man 1. So there are some really, really cool costumes to pick from in this game. So that's definitely a pro. On top of it, there are some great moments where you feel like Spider-Man. There's nothing like jumping building to building and then jumping on a... Uh, swinging across the building and then jumping on a flagpole looking all badass. There's nothing like going behind an enemy, shooting him a web, throwing him towards you and kicking him in the face to knock him out. And there's nothing like doing these twirling, kicking awesome acrobatic moves as Spider-Man. So there are some great moments, hindered by just about everything else in the game. So let's get on to the bad. Swinging is off base. It is fun at times, but half the time it doesn't work when it should. Spider-Man will shout out some nonsense like, Oh, there's no building to swing from! When in fact, I am right next to a gigantic fucking tower! So what is happening, Spider-Man? The story starts up interesting enough. Like I said, it's a cluster of fuck of enemies, and that's really cool. We're gonna fight a bunch of enemies, but it all fizzles out in the end. And you would think that you're gonna have this gigantic fight at the end of Ravencroft because everybody's in there, but nope, you just fight Carnage. So the story really... And, oh my god, don't even start on the last Get cinema. <sighs> Just no. a, I mean, a, a terrible story that makes the Spider-Man 2 movie that everybody's bitching about look amazing in comparison with the story. Now, the boss fights. They're pretty cool at times. It's a really cool moments, but they're also ruined by doing the re most repetitive actions, such as holding circle and shooting your web blasters over and over and over and like eight times and then kicking and I'm just like, what is happening? And it's just not cool. Now that's the bad. Let's talk about the ugly. Stay with me, Spidey fans, because you're gonna understand this at the end. Terrible cutscene graphics. If you can't, I'm not saying they're PS2 level, because people haven't played PS2 in years. They don't remember PS2 very well. These aren't PS2 level, but they're pretty damn bad, especially when you're putting it on the next gen system that is the PS4 and Xbox One. On top of that, the dull city. Not only does it look dull, but the missions in it are dull. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, horrible, horrible voice acting, except for maybe Spider-Man at times, because Spider-Man can be pretty damn annoying, and that's not a good thing. He's supposed to be annoying to enemies, but not to me. I'm playing as him. That's not cool. But yeah, the voice acting, very... Ugh. Uh, and now back to the side missions. They are pretty, pretty terrible. I can't believe anybody would defend these things. You basically rescue people from fires, throw away bombs, or chase down people in cars, or just beat up people. And it's the re most repetitive shit. And the worst part about it is after you do these missions, you have to fucking wait for a little cutscene that takes like 10 to 12 seconds of your life telling you that you did a good thing. Why, thank you. I didn't know saving people from fucking crazy people meant I was doing a good thing. But thank you, news. Thank you. Ugh. 
I'm sorry, I'm just in my rage mode right now. On top of that, there's only 14 main missions, so this game is about, I don't know, maybe five hours if you just not even if you skip the side missions i did a couple of side missions but in fact this game is extremely short and on top of that the worst the number one thing that just reminds me hits my head i'm like oh that's a cool move nope you're not allowed to have fun whitey because the camera hates your ass not literally well i guess because it just fizzles the fuck out you're moving and all of a sudden the camera's like rrr, rrr, and i'm just like god damn it i can't fucking see and then i get hit by an enemy and then i die because the enemies can be really cheap as fuck at times but overall the camera makes everything else that could be at least seem one decent fun shit so shit let's move on which man ain't got to It's, it might sound like I hate Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, the video game, and that's because I really, really, really did not have a good time with this one. Like I said, there's a couple of things that might benefit the Marvel fan and you or the Spider-Man fan, and like I said, some really cool costumes and collectibles. <clears throat> and on times you can feel like Spider-Man with the swinging and the cool acrobatic moves, but shit! What the fuck? Everything they said that they were going to fix, they didn't fix. The, the fighting system isn't that great now. It's kind of boring as shit because it's the same goddamn combos. The stuff is fun, though it doesn't always work. On top of that, the story is worse than the first one. The worst, the first one had a pretty boring-ass story. I don't understand what happened, really. I think that Beanox should go back to Shatter Dimension type of gameplay. Because if people don't like that, well, fuck you. That was the best Spider-Man game that I played in a long time. So I was really upset to get this pile of shit in the mail. I was just really, really taken aback. And this is why it took so long to do this review. Because I was trying to just enjoy it. I was trying to say... Jamesy Poo, that's my name. Jamesy Poo, take a second, play the game, and enjoy it. Absorb it. Let it let it sink into you as a Spider-Man fan. Because I am a true Spider-Man fan. I I love Spider-Man. I would get a tattoo if I can afford it on me of Spider-Man. But I just I can't recommend this game to anybody. Not even a Spider-Man fan. If you really want to play it, rent it at all costs. Do not buy it. Maybe for 15, 10 bucks if you've seen any yard sale, people still do those. Maybe, but other than that, just keep going to see the movie. Because if you think the movie's bad, don't even come near this piece of pile of shit. This piece of pile of shit. That's my new word. I'm just, I'm sorry. I know people are like, oh, he's just ranting. I am. I'm sorry. That I'm loud and obnoxious, but this game has really fucking annoyed me. So, this game gets a solid 3 out of 10. That's right. It's pretty much shit. It's playable, but there's really no reason to play it. I was not only disappointed in it, I was rightfully fucked in the face by this fucking game. I was very upset. So that's the end of my review. I'm sorry if it's so much yelling and cursing. I don't mean to offend little children watching this. I hope to know that your parents will teach you that cursing are just words one day and nothing more. I'm gonna, I'm, okay, I'm gonna stop here. Don't get this game. Kids, adults, grandma, grandpa, child, whatever, don't get this game.